torque can only, each tip can only take so much pressure going out of it. I don't have a whole lot of room in the tailstock here to stretch it out on the runner, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do our best to make this look as pretty as we can. kind of tucked these in, the uh, extra bits that were coming out from the base, I've kind of tucked them in a bit, um, and what I'm going to do is slowly heat them up and allow them to travel outward into the goblet base itself to reinforce it. So I'm going to speed it up now that it's got a lot more even heat. Make sure it stays flat. Got one little spot that's not wanting to flatten out, so. There we go. Let's heat it up one more time. Glove. This is a Kelvar glove. It's uh, it's not heat proof. It's heat resistant. It's less likely to burn. Ooh, Chuck's hot. Let's pull this in a bit. Give me a chance to pull this out of the tailstock. Now, pull that out. There we go. So it stands. So that's the piece. And now what we'll do is later on, I'll throw this into an oven because it's still hot. And what I'll do is later on, we'll cut this part right here on the wet saw. And then we'll grind it flat. And we'll have a nice goblet. Now while I admit this isn't exactly the best example of how to make a glass reservoir, as you can see the, the uh, stem and the base, excellent examples of how you would accomplish that both by hand and on a lathe.